Hey guys, Beats here Plumbing here, and today I am with my 2000 Crane Plumbing Placidus Toilets. So uh, something I want to mention is some people didn't know that Crane made two versions of these. They have the version that swirls and the version that uh, flushes straight down. This one on high pressure swirls. Um, if y'all do look at the rim jets, they aren't really angled at all. So um, this is probably one of those that uh, were designed to have more of a straight down flush because some people have filmed them on weak pressure that swirled and some are high pressure that don't swirl. So this one, as y'all can see, just by looking at the rim jets, that since they aren't angled, this one was most likely designed to just have a, uh, for the most part, a straight down flush. But since this is on such high pressure, it does actually have a decent swirl, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this toilet honestly isn't bad. Uh, there is some small damage, nothing bad. It's more just kind of like a cosmetic. It doesn't leak or anything. Uh, I'm assuming what happened is over time from the seat slamming when this was installed in whatever place it came from, it eventually cracked, but I'm, that's just like a glaze crack. Even on really high pressure, no water comes out of there. So you could technically still have this installed and it would be just fine. Uh, overall, the design on this toilet is definitely really interesting. And sorry for that background hissing. The, the septic sprinklers just came on, but um, here's what the back of the toilet looks like. Nothing super interesting. Uh, there's the date right there. I don't know how well y'all can read that. And then it, there's some more markings and then whatever that says there. But uh, yeah, this is on 1.6 and the pressure's turned all the way up. Here's a flush. And this toilet also has a really loud flush as well. So yeah, as you can see for the first like second, all the water is going down the front, but there's so much water coming in at the same time from the high power. It's kind of pushing the water to swirl. Um, eventually I will probably put a new spot on here as this one's almost impossible to get off. So I'll probably have to soak in some acid and chip away at the gasket. And it doesn't leak. So I just kind of kept it on there for now. And the water is a little bit cloudy. The design of this is interesting as well. I do like how the siphon jet is down at the bottom of the trapway. And of course, the water is super cloudy. Uh, I apologize, but uh, now you can kind of see a little bit better. It's got the siphon jet down in there, but um, this is almost reminds me of like a, a rapid way, which is very similar to this, except the rapid way is a blowout toilet. But um, yeah, let me give you all another flush at this angle. And here we go. This isn't the most siphonic toilet. If you bucket flush it, uh, it doesn't always siphon. Um, sorry if I keep like shaking the camera aggressively, there's a whole bunch of bugs floating around because of the lights that are on and the bugs are really attracted to that. So uh, yeah, now I'll put you on my tripod here and uh, give you all more of a close-up flush like this. And um, I know I've been doing a whole lot of flushometer videos lately, but y'all seem to really like them. That's why I'm just doing a big streak of flushometer videos. And uh, I got a couple reducing spuds, so I'll probably see how many of my gravity-fed toilets will fit on those spuds so I can film those on flushometer because y'all also like to see the gravity-fed toilets on flushometer, which wouldn't be any different than on a high tank. But uh, let me give y'all another flush at this angle. And let me make sure it's focused. All right, here's a flush. So yeah, believe it or not, this toilet actually outperforms the 3.5 Placidus, which is sitting right here, which I will also perform, but, or film, but um, yeah, this thing doesn't have great performance. So, and that's an older 3.5 Placidus. So that just kind of shows that, you know, not all vintage toilets are better than modern toilets, but uh, the majority of vintage toilets definitely are better than modern, just because of the larger trapways and the higher water usage. But um, not all modern toilets perform uh, too bad either, but uh, yeah, now let me just set you up kind of at a side angle like this. Let's see here, that is not a good angle. Let's see if I can raise the tripod a little bit more. It's kind of hard with this one beam in the way that's sitting on. Uh, okay, that's much better. So here's another flush. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.